Hey, how's it going? Another quick and dirty video, C Sharp, um, ASP.NET, Visual Studio 2013, how to insert data into two separate tables uh, contingent upon the drop down list selected value. Now, the drop down list is not uh, data bound. You're going to in, input the, uh, the values and then put them in your C Sharp code, and it's going to write uh, to the database. Uh, right to two separate tables rather uh, depending on the selected value so here's how we do that now this is an introductory beginner video but I assume that you know how to run SQL Server on your local machine and you also know how to get around Visual Studio 2013 uh, so here we go I've got a database called vocabulary with two tables noun and verb okay and the columns, noun ID is just the identity. We've got word English, word underscore ENG, and word underscore Ukrainian. And I've also got uh, a verb table with the exact same columns. So here's how we're going to do the code. So we've got Visual Studio 2013 up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add a drop down list leave all the defaults the same drop down list one text box one text box two button one and label one okay you can leave all those names as default uh, go ahead and select the button we can change the text go ahead and say submit in our uh, properties label one you can go ahead and remove the text because we're going to do it with the code. We'll write the text with the code. You can change the color. I like blue. Um, go ahead and select your drop down list. Click on the little arrow. Edit items. Add. First one is please choose. Value will be please choose. I uh, will go ahead and add another one. Uh, the text on this one's going to be noun. Let's go ahead and put the value as one. Let's add another verb. Oops. And its value, let's set it to two. So as you as you can see, these are not data bound. We're creating uh, the items we want inside the drop-down list. Uh, now you can see that these are important because that's where we're going to write our code. All right. So just go ahead and say OK. So you have those values there. Double click on your submit button. And uh, one thing that's difficult to show in a tutorial video is the um, connection string. It's going to be different for every single one of you. Whether you're using SQL Server, whether you're using Access, whether you're using an XML file, it's going to be different. Um, so kind of don't pay attention to what I'm copying and pasting in there because it's my own personal uh, connection string. And whenever you have problems with your application, 65% of the time it's going to be in your connection string. Okay. Uh, you see the red squiggly lines, that's because we've not put in our references. I'm going to say using system dot data and using system dot data dot SQL client. Okay. There we go. So as you can see, SQL connection vid vid equals new SQL connection, and then my connection string. Okay, so we're going to be referencing vid when we write our code. So let's go ahead and start with uh, an if statement. We need an if statement because we've got a drop down conditional of two uh, two different choices. Okay, so if um, drop down list one because we uh, kept all the default names, drop down list one dot selected value God, 
God, if I could type. Selected value equals one, which as you remember was the noun table. We're going to go ahead and say um, SQL command. I call mine XP. You can call it whatever. SQL command XP uh, equals new new SQL command and then we need to write our SQL statement here, okay? So we're going to say insert into noun was the uh, first choice. One was noun, so we'll go to the noun table. Insert into, and I'm sorry, into is one word. Remember our column names. ENG English oh I'm sorry word underscore English comma space word underscore Ukrainian UKR and we're gonna close that oh sorry uh, values At, oops, at word underscore eng. Now these are variables. This is a best practice to prevent uh, uh, SQL injection. Word and at word underscore Ukraine, um, comma. No, wait, go outside the quotes comma space vid. Vid is our connection string uh, as you can see right here. So comma space vid. Close that. That looks pretty good. Except we have a uh, oh I need to put a bracket here that's why. closing bracket and uh, now we need to add our parameters which are those ones with the at, at symbols so we're going to say um, SQL command XP dot uh, parameters uh, dot add with value Uh, then we put on our uh, quotations at symbol um, word underscore English ing sorry I'm writing out I'm saying out these uh, abbreviations word underscore ing comma space text box one dot text right and then close it and we can copy this control C control V and this is going to be word Ukrainian and change this to text box 2 and you got it there you're good to go so now we're going to say vid dot open Uh, execute uh, sorry uh, XP rather XP dot execute non query and then close vid dot close all right and that's gonna insert uh, into table noun if drop down list selected value is one, okay? So that's condition one. And let's
let's go down here below this bracket and we'll say else if oops else if and then uh, drop down list one dot selected value selected value equals quotation marks two and then drop below that let's put in another set of brackets and we're basically going to duplicate exactly what we wrote above it okay so we can even just copy this copy and paste it below except inserting into noun we want to insert into verb okay and as you remember from showing you SQL Server Management Studio we have the same columns in verb as we have in noun so uh, yeah so if, if uh, drop down list select, selected value equals two uh, it's going to insert it into the verb table instead of the noun table and lastly let's go ahead and put uh, let's go ahead and, and put our label um, if post back post back no sorry I'm doing I'm doing this in the wrong place so let's go back up to our page load event and say uh, if um, if page dot is post back uh, equals true right okay we'll say label one which is our label label one dot text uh, equals and then we can put in our quotations our parentheses and quotations star star your data has been recorded okay and then we gotta close that okay it looks pretty good let's go ahead and test it alright so uh, let's go ahead and say the word um, hat And the Ukrainian for that would be Shapka. Take it to the. Your data has been recorded. Okay. And uh, let's do a verb. Let's do. Um, Yaznayu. Uh, sorry. Which means I know. I know, Yaznayu, and we're going to put that in the verb to know. Submit. Oh, we got a problem. Execute non query. Can insert, oh, word ID. That's because I didn't set that as an identity. But let's go ahead and just ignore that and look to the. Uh, look back at the database let's look, look at the noun column it worked with the noun it would have worked with the verb but I set up the database wrong I set up the columns wrong uh, let's go ahead and return uh, 200 rooms there it is hat shopka that was written from our application okay I hope this helps sorry it was kinda long